Hello everyone, my name is Chance Brunton and welcome back to Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. I'm joined once again by Tyler. Hello. Last time we failed to try and disarm all of the bombs because we're missing one of the codes for the number one bomb. Thanks a lot, Dio. And so this time we are going to go back to where we are in the warehouse. Dio, I think, has just escaped. Yeah, he, and well, he's about to. Or yeah, he's about to escape. We got the vial from him for Quark, the vial of the, um... Excelivir. What is it? Excelivir? Yeah. And now we're at negative one, so we've just been injected with poison. Uh, we've been yeah. injected with uh, anesthetic. And... Or not anesthetic. Uh, knockout drug? Soparol yeah. beta. Yeah. And it, we are five minutes from being injected with a lethal poison. And wondering what we can possibly do. Now mm -hmm. that we know we have artificial arms, we can just lop off our bracelet and be fine. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna go back and do that. What? Sigma's BP is... Oh, okay, we, it sets us back a little bit, so we'll skip yeah. forward. And we've explained what's going on enough, I think. Yeah. In much shorter time. Your arms are... cybernetic. Achievement unlocked. Gotta hand it to you. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have cybernetic arms? It was both shocking and utterly obvious. Of course, my arms were artificial. Titanium alloy bones with an ABT exterior to mimic human skin. But I had no idea why. Nor did I know when my human arms, which I distinctly remember having, had been replaced. And that flash of Luna I had seen, I was certain it had never happened. Those things hardly mattered, though. If I survived, I could worry about them later. The fact that my arms were mechanical, however, that might be useful. I called up all the strength I had left and stood one more time. What are you waiting for? Why don't you open it already? What? Did I stutter? Open the number nine door! S sigma what are you saying? <laughs> Looks like you finally gave up. Whatever. I was just about to flip the switch anyway. Then hurry up and- Hey, don't rush me. Kay, you've got nine BP now, right? Y yes We're gonna use the door to cut her arm off. <laughs> well, what do you say? Wanna come with? I- I- I will remain here. Why? I cannot abandon Sigma. Don't worry about me. Go. You have to get outside and call for help. But... Do you think Dio will? If he's the only one who gets out of here, there's no hope for the rest of us. You're the only one we can count on. I understand. Great. Glad we got that settled. Shall we go? No! Stop! Phi began to move, but it was already too late. Dio grabbed the lever and threw it down. Yeah, we are totally going to use that door to cut our arm off. It makes the most sense. Yeah, because you can't exactly operate a knife properly in this state. Yeah, and we don't have time to get, like, an axe or something. Yeah. So, it, it would be funny, because this is also the route where Clover really cares about us. So it'd be funny if we're like, Clover, we need you to cut this arm off! And Clover's just like, don't worry, I've got this! <laughs> I, I've done this before! <laughs> it will remain open for nine seconds. It's been fun! Peace! I promise to call for help in return as soon as I can. Please, do not give up hope. And watch out for Dio. Yeah, I know. Just get going already. But... Just you, Kay. Huh? As Dio turned to look at me, I crouched. Then, calling on every last bit of strength my wearied body could supply, I launched myself toward him like a coiled spring. I slammed into his legs, knocking him to the floor and wrapping my hands around his ankle before he could get back up. Hey! 
Hey! What are you doing, you bastard? The door's gonna close! Let go! Let go, goddammit! Let me go! So we're gonna chop him and our arm off at the same time? Yes. <laughs> he lashed out with his free leg at my head, shoulders and arms, but I held on. I ignored the pain, tightening my grip with every blow. Hey! What the hell is this shit? Why are you doing this? I kept my promise, didn't I? Yeah, so did I. Far as I recall, it didn't say anything about letting you escape. What? Shit! Stop screwing around, asshole! I have to get out of here. I'm not going to let my sacred mission get fucked up by some self-righteous idiot! Dio began to pull himself along with his elbows, bit by bit edging closer to the exit. He was heading straight through the door, but the gate was already beginning to close. With only a few feet to spare before it shut, he crawled across the threshold and beyond the door. Sigma! Stop! That's enough! Please, you have to let go! The door's going to shut on you if you don't let go! We're counting on it. Heh. <laughs> Alright. See you later, Dio. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're an idiot right up until the end, aren't you? Just hurry up and die, you senile old fuck! No. I... I'm going to live. <sighs> Yeah, we were. I would have liked it. Oh, what? Uh, we weren't trying to stop Dio as much as it would have been nice. We were just using him to pull ourselves. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I would have liked it if we could have gotten like the hand with the bracelet onto his shoulder and held him down like that. <laughs> so we'd hold him on the threshold with our arm outstretched across his body, pinning like the front half of him. So when the door closed, it would cut off our arm and chop Dio in <laughs> half at the same time. <laughs> that would yeah. have been beautiful. This ends the Nonary game. Thank you for your participation. I don't know why it matters that we live, though, because now we're stuck. <laughs> As the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Unless it just came over here. Possible. Please yeah. enjoy your stay. I mean, I guess we're gonna have to learn something now that we're alive in this route. Yeah. And then we can go to a different route with it. The announcer's voice grated at the inside of my skull. I felt tired. So very, very tired. I let my eyes flutter closed. And then, nothing. Game over. <laughs> no, that's just the soap reel kicking in, because that was already in our system. Yeah. Cutting off our arm didn't get rid of the soap reel, it just prevented the tubocurine from being injected. Mm-hmm. Mm. Sigma! Sigma! Finally awake, huh? Where am I? I rubbed my eyes and slid my legs off the bed to stand up. Well, to be honest, it was an examination table, not a bed. Which meant... The infirmary, huh? I guess they carried you out here after you passed out. You guess? Well, I wasn't there to see it. I was out, just like you. But I was in the AB room. Why? That bastard Kay. He punched me in the stomach. Uh, yeah, I can't get believe him. Nine points he betrayed. I think it was Quark or something. Because Quark was unconscious yeah. and knocked Alice out to do it. He didn't want me voting, so... Whoa! And after he knocked you out, he voted Betray, which brought his BP up to nine. Yes. So, where is he now? On the other side of the number nine door. With Dio. And then he was going to stay, despite having done that. Yeah. You told him to go, remember? Oh, yeah. Is your arm okay? 
Arm? I heard what happened. Cybernetic arms, huh? Can't say I'm surprised. I was starting to get a feeling something was up with you. What, you don't think we got these muscles ourselves? <laughs> I looked down at my left hand. Or rather, I looked down at where my left hand should have been. Instead, there was a stub wrapped in white gauze. I told myself I'd do anything to get the cure, even if it meant letting Dio betray me. But I had a feeling I might come to miss my hand. Oh, yeah. How's Quark? I'm right here. Quark! Man, I'm glad to see you're alright. Feeling better? Yep. Thanks to you, you got the medicine from that jerk Dio, right? Luna gave it to me and now I'm better. Thanks. You're the best, Mr. Sigma. You saved my life. Yeah, well, now you're going to have to work to pay to replace our hand. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, assuming you can escape with Dio on the outside. Mm hmm. It seemed they'd shared stories while I was asleep. Everyone knew now how I'd made a deal with Dio and about the journal we'd found with the Latin in it. Clover and Fi seemed to have done most of the talking. It was completely the opposite of what we guessed. We're not infected. The rest of the world is. Yep. That means this place isn't a quarantine facility. It's more like a shelter. Well, we don't know anything for sure yet. I thought the same thing you did, but then Sigma pointed out a couple of discrepancies. Yeah. Bai and I have already gone over it, but... I explained what I'd noticed. One. If we were in a shelter for uninfected people, why had Quark been infected? Any place designed to keep a virus like that out would have a lot of safeguards to keep anything from getting in. Had the virus really bypassed all those measures? It didn't seem likely. 2. The timing of our abductions and the pandemic's outbreak was strange. It would make sense if we'd been rescued after the disease had become widespread, but that wasn't what had happened. First, we'd been abducted, then the pandemic had broken out. 3. We didn't know why Zero had put us in the Nonary game. If we were survivors he wanted to protect, then why try and kill us? If we were in a shelter, why wasn't it safe? Um, well, what about this? Maybe someone anticipated the pandemic. I don't know who. Probably Zero. Anyway, they grabbed us before the pandemic really started. Then they put us in the shelter. But then, after a while he got bored, so he decided to have us play this game to kill time. Ah, what wonderful motivation. Yeah, kill time not like that. people. Yeah, not like that undermines the entire point of putting us in a safe shelter, by the way, but... <laughs> <laughs> Who on earth would make people he rescued play a game where they could die just because he was bored? Well, we don't actually know if there is poison in this bracelet. What? You're the only one who's gotten injected so far. And when you did, it was only Soparil. What are you saying? Are you saying I didn't need to chop my arm off? <laughs> That what I did at the number nine door was all pointless? No, that's not what I mean. That can't be it. I'm sure there's two bocurarine in the bracelets. The Adam's analysis confirmed it. But what if the Adam is lying? Or what if it's not designed to inject? If you're going to do that, yeah, that... then we don't have anything to base any speculations on. You could say that the newspaper article was fake, or that the Latin journal wasn't real. Or the journal was real, but my translation was a lie. You made it up? No. My translation was accurate. I'm just making the point that once you start talking about this stuff being fabricated, it doesn't stop. I don't think Zero is doing this just to take the piss out of a lime. What? Uh, I, I beg your uh, pardon? I was just trying to stress that I don't think Zero would do this to pass the time. How do you make that mistake? However, I do think Clover has half a point. Meaning? That someone did anticipate this pandemic. That part seems reasonable. Well, if the virus was spread on purpose, then I could see how that might make sense. Yeah. It's not like Noah put all the animals on his ark after the flood happened. 
He went around before the rain started falling to gather them all up, right? Are you saying that we were rescued because we're all that's left of humanity? We were brought here because someone knew there would be a pandemic that would turn us into an endangered species? And this implies that we need to start procreating to rebuild humanity, right? Does that mean we're supposed to repopulate the planet? <laughs> yeah. We're on the same page. I like this. Repopulate. Hmm. <laughs> I looked around and did a quick inventory. <laughs> Uh, four women, an old man, and a kid. That meant I was the only young, fertile male. <laughs> Repopulation, huh? That didn't sound so bad. If that was the case, maybe there wasn't any reason to escape. If the newspaper and the journal were right, then the world outside was crawling with a deadly virus. Why would we go expose ourselves to that? This would be the safest, happiest place on Earth. Especially for Sigma. <laughs> the game's over. There's no point to any of this now. No, that's not true. The game might be over, but we've still got a lot of unanswered questions. In fact, we've got even more questions. So? Are those answers going to open the number nine door again? It's all over. Why we're stuck here doesn't mean shit. The eight of us aren't leaving, ever. That's all that matters. Eight? Oh, yeah. Eight? You... You're including the old woman? Yeah. That or he knows something we don't. Hey, you know what? What if the old lady is Zero Senior? <laughs> yeah, you're right. We never even considered that. But that would mean the person in charge of all this was murdered by somebody. That doesn't make sense. Maybe she wasn't murdered. Huh? Are you saying she was infected with Radical Six and killed herself? But we didn't find a knife or any kind of weapon in the AB room with her. Is that Akane? Maybe she was killed somewhere else. And this then is, someone carried her in there. Yeah, this is the route where the secret file mentioned jumpy doll or whatever. So, yeah. Although something that doesn't make sense to me is a timeline of events here either, because like Sigma Phi, Akane and Junpei are all characters in the third game, right? Yeah. And they're about the same age. Exactly. But, yeah. But if and, we go back a while ago, we talked about how the I forget the name, but there's those three like cryostasis things in the uh, treatment center. So if Akane wasn't one of the people using it, she could have become an old lady. Yeah, but Sigma and Phi only met here, right? Yeah. So that means that they would have to be the the events of Zero Escape Three must be after the events of Zero Escape Two, right? And in fact, I think they yeah. mention Zero Escape Two and Zero Escape Three, so. It doesn't make sense for her to age for two and then de-age for three. Yeah, I guess. Unless there's some unless there's more going on, which there could be. What? That's ridiculous. Well, maybe we should go take a look at her one more time. Maybe we missed something. Sure. Okay. We looked down at the body of the old woman. Phi was the first to move. Quietly and methodically, she began to examine the woman and her clothes. I just stood there. Even if she was dead, no, especially because she was dead, I just didn't feel right touching her. After a few silent minutes, Phi suddenly stopped. She pulled something from one of the old woman's sleeves and held it out toward me. I'm surprised we wouldn't have checked her earlier, but yeah, good God, this is this is quite an oversight. Yeah, a card looks like an ID card for this place. Since it's got her picture on it, I'd say it's a safe bet the card is hers. Huh? 
Looks like her name is... Kurashki. Kurashki. Ever heard it before? Nope. You? No. Anything on the back? Huh. There's something written here. Password is Jumpy Doll. We have a username and we have a password. <laughs> it says Jumpy Doll. Well, actually it says pass equals Jumpy Doll. So I'm guessing Jumpy Doll is a password of some sort. What the hell does that mean? Beats me. Looks handwritten. She must have put it on her... She must have put it on here herself so she wouldn't forget it. Yeah. Maybe I should go ahead and... It's easy enough to remember. Yeah. But... I don't know how long it's going to be before we can get back to this. We were still looking at the card over when I heard a commotion from the other part of the room. Alice! What's wrong? Alice! Oh no! She's also infected. What are you planning to do with that? Fi and I turned around and gasped. <gasps> Damn it! We don't have another Accelivir dose. Yeah. We ran to the other end of the room and skidded around the partition. There stood Alice, her hand wrapped tightly around the scalpel. She didn't seem stable. Is this the same? Uh, well, it's the same idea, but different dialogue, probably. Yeah. Because it's like, you're more familiar with it. She looks Goodbye. like Quark. Her hand moved, lifting the scalpel up high in the air, then driving it down toward her heart. Oof, no one, no one was fast enough to stop her, huh? That's, That's it. That's the end. Which ending is that? The quark end. Yeah, it's less concrete than the other ones, but you did save him. Mm -hmm. Achievement unlocked, an equal and opposite reaction. Oh yeah, because you okay. saved one person and another person died to it. Mm -hmm. And this is why in the other route I was concerned about, like, we should duplicate a third vial, just yeah. in case. Because this is what happens when you use up all your medication, and it's like, oh, it turns out somebody else was also sick. It was just taking some time for their symptoms to show. Yeah. Alright, I guess let's go ahead and just use that, um... We have the username and password. Let's go back and do that now. Oh no, I can't activate skip oh, while yeah. we're looking around. Shouldn't take too long, though. There we go. Yeah. Come on, show us. Yep. Why'd they slow down for that? They purposefully slowed down for this bit. Yeah, the flashback. Or maybe are it so is going fast. It's just that slow. All right. GTF E M L zero one six. Password. Uh, Jumpy doll. Wait, what? Uh, the password's not for this. I'll say that. Oh! <laughs> yeah. So then there was no point in my coming here. Yeah. Great. So I actually need to go down a different route. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, so much for that. We just have to continue one of the Temyoji routes. Yeah.